Well, it's been bright and wet and muddy and rocky, and I've come to a most peculiar sight. This little fountain here seems to be pouring right through a crack in a rock. And uh, it's quite amazing. There's just a little hole there, but there's a crack in the rock, and it's pouring through like a faucet. Interesting. And this is really a kind of interesting bit of forest right here because you have this wall to the left that really is somewhat impenetrable. And if you look in there, it's just so super dense, it's just dark in there. If I stick the camera in a little ways, you can just get lost in this stuff. And it really is effectively like a wall. So I want to stay out here on the main trail. I'm doing well so far. Uh, always at the beginning of a hike, it's a little bit, uh, it takes a minute to get your heart rate up. So, you know, for the first few miles, you're kind of like, ah, ah, ah. but right now I've got my, I've got my stride and I feel good. I've readjusted my backpack so that it's super comfy. It actually feels, uh, just because this backpack is so, uh, is so, uh, ergonomic, uh, even though it's bigger, it's got more stuff in it, it feels about as light as the normal pack I carry. And I was just thinking that I might start carrying this one now on every hike, even if it has barely anything in it, just because the belt system is so ergonomic that I feel um, just as light as I usually do when I'm hiking with just a day pack, even though I've got a tent and a purifier and lots of extra food and emergency gear and things like that. So, I'm going to keep going up. So what we've got over here is a wild turkey. You can see him right there. They're actually quite beautiful. There's something that I just can't help seeing. It was kind of like Thanksgiving dinner. Amazing. Okay. So I'm still walking the Appalachian Trail. Haven't made any comments for a while. Just been trying to cover as much ground as I can today. And um, the trail has stayed kind of moist and muddy, but it hasn't all been uphill. I've seen lots of cool woodsy mushrooms, which always makes me happy. I've seen lots of cool trees. Um, I'm moving pretty, pretty well. Um, I'm on a stretch 2.7 to the next shelter. And then there'll be about six miles to where I get off the Appalachian Trail for a period of time. Um, you may be able to hear those sounds of thunder, which is what I'm commenting about from that direction. They're quite loud cracks of thunder. And uh, I'm prepared for this uh, by having a plastic parka. Uh, and a plastic bag for my gadgets. So this camera and this camera and uh, anything else that I don't want to get in the rain will go into the two and a half gallon plastic bag in my bag and then I'll try to cover myself and my backpack with the uh, emergency uh, raincoat. So uh, that's my plan but I'm really hoping it doesn't rain because uh, uh, you know earlier in the heat of the day I was hoping for the uh, a stream or something that I could cool off in. I thought, boy, it'd be nice if I was lower down and could find a, a waterfall or something, but uh, now it's quite cool, and it's shady in here, and I feel I feel really good. I'm, I'm so far from where I came from, and yet still such a long way from where I'm going, and this is where I feel like 
I feel safe and I feel that excitement of adventure which is about to get a whole lot more exciting as the thunder rolls in and uh, and uh, I feel like uh, you know I'm challenging myself but like feel very together with nature you know I feel like everything about me is kind of being renewed right now as I'm out here just so far from civilization in any direction and uh, at least maybe if it rains in a few minutes it'll be all done and it won't rain tonight while I'm camping well I'm up in the clouds or the mist or the rain it did definitely pour down rain I seem to be following a path of destruction I can't really figure out why the trail and my feet is littered with fairly recently chewed out. It's almost like a some sort of outdoor lawnmower came through here. Uh, but anyway, I'm dressed in my cloak of visibility uh, to keep the rain off. Uh, it rained for a good while and then uh, and then it stopped and uh, took the plastic off. Um, uh, it was nice and dry. My trousers dried out. They're light cotton. They very quickly dry out. Um, and uh, then, uh, as I started the ascent to Thunderhead, which is what I'm on right now, uh, it started raining again, so I had to pull it out really fast. You know, but actually that was a very easy operation. It took me about uh, 20 or 30 seconds to do it, and it keeps my pack dry and everything. So now it's just whew, lots of climbing, and my enemy now is, or my challenge now is time. Uh, the rain... Rain's not a problem. I dealt with the rain thanks to my cloak of visibility, but now I have no idea how late it is. I do have light, but I have no idea how late it is and how much time I have to get to my campsite. So I gotta hurry up and summit Thunderhead. Well, this looks a bit like a country lane for walking, and uh, it's certainly very misty and very high. Uh, I don't know if I'm quite to Thunderhead yet. I may still have a mountain over to go. I'm about to find out. Oh, nope, I'm here. Oh, that is all, That is great. Okay, I didn't expect that I would be here already. It's Thunderhead Mountain at 5,527 feet. And it should be mostly all downhill from here. And it's just been raining like all afternoon. Uh, but I'm definitely losing light. It's just like this really bland haze uh, and wind. So I don't know how much light I have left, but it's gonna be time to move fast. And I may, uh, depending on how my legs feel, I'm either gonna walk in the dark until I get to a campsite, or I may just set up my tent wherever I happen to plop <laughs> down. So hopefully though, since I'm heading down, I can make it to my campsite. And I wanted to show you a spectacular sunset, but uh, there hasn't been one quite yet. <laughs> All right, bye-bye.